In today's video, the tools you're going to need are this tool. I'm just going to use it to measure the depth, which is right here as I push this over here. And it tell me a number right here. Then I got a standard for all the hard to reach place. Then I have two ratchet that will fit my two 14 millimeter socket. For one of the 14 millimeter socket, it will have to be a long socket. I'm using a special through socket that will use a special wrench. And I have two ratchet that will fit my two 17 millimeter socket. And I have a breaker bar. I have a socket that will fit my lug nut on my tire. I have a torque wrench right here that could go up to 150 foot pound. You will also need a 19 millimeter socket and some eye protection. I need a jack, some jack stand, something to chop your tire, and a ramp to drive your car on top. Don't forget your new low arm assembly. First thing, I'm gonna chalk my tire. Pull the parking brake. I'm gonna break loose these nut first. I'm gonna lift the car right here. I'm gonna put the jack stand between these two notch. Put Jackson between these two notch. With Jack stand in place, I could lower the car now. I'm gonna work on the passenger side first. Remember where your eye protection? I'm gonna first spray the nut with WD-40. For this next part, you will need two ratchet and the 14 millimeter sockets. Here's the self-locking nut. Here's the top stabilizer rubber. Here's the bottom stabilizer rubber with the screw. This metal part is composed of two stabilizer rubber and a collar. Next bolt I'm going to take off is right here. As you can see, I already sprayed it down with WD-40. This nut and the bolt is 17 millimeter. I'm using a pipe here for leverage. With the nut off, you could just pull the bolt right out. This next bolt connect the lower arm to the cross member connection and you will need the 19 millimeter socket.
This bolt also connect the lower arm to the cross member connection and it's a 19 millimeter. With the three bolt off, you could just pull it out. Installing the low arm joint is the hardest part of this repair. First, I slide in this part right here. It's connect to the low arm and the cross member connection. I put the bolt through and kind of just thread it in. Now I turn the wheel to the left so I can swing the lower arm across. When you swing the lower arm across, it'll fit in right here. I put the bolt right here to keep the arm in place. Now you can turn your wheel straight. Once we slide in this last joint, we could put on the last bolt. Now we're going to tighten all three bolts. This bolt do need to be torqued down. The torque spec for this bolt is 123 plus or minus 7 foot pounds. This bolt should be temporary tightened and then fully tightened with the vehicle on the ground in an unladen condition. This nut right here will be needed to torque down too. The torque spec is 80 plus or minus 7 foot pounds. Put this back on. This is the self locking nut, stabilizer with rubber, the collar, and more rubber. Should go right here. As you can see, this flat part go down, this part go top. I have this. The metal part right here go down, flat top go top. I'm using the breaker bar to push up the stabilizer bar so I could fit this section in. The metal surface facing outward for this one. The distance between the top of the nut and the top of the bolt is 22 plus or minus 1.5 millimeter. About 22.8, I'm good with that.
The procedure for the driver's side is the same as the passenger side, except for one thing. The transmission is in the way to take off the nut. With a block of wood on top of the jack, I'm going to lift the transmission high enough just to take off the bolt. Now that both sides are done, you can continue with the repair. The torque spec for the wheel nut is 73 plus or minus 7 foot pound. And also remember to tighten this bolt in a crisscross pattern. the parking brake earlier I mentioned about unlatent condition the unlatent weight of any vehicle is the weight of the vehicle when it is not carrying any passenger goods or other items torque spec for that boat is 137 plus or minus 7 foot pound I don't have enough leverage to torque that down, so I'm just going to tighten it as tight as I can. Just remember, once you're done tightening the bolt on the passenger side, also tighten the bolt on the driver's side. Once these two bolts is tightened, then your repair is complete. The last thing you need to do is take your car out for a drive and to see if you need alignment done at a shop. Click that like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe for future update. And again, thanks for watching.